guys, welcome back to the DNA Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki, and today we'll be talking all about pap smears. So, if you're not yet a subscriber, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the post notification on so you can get an update every time we have a new release. So, what is a pap smear? So, a pap smear is basically a screening tool that helps doctors to detect abnormal cells or cancer. So, it works by sampling the cells from your cervix. So cervical cancer screening is vital for getting an early diagnosis of cervical cancer. With an early diagnosis, you can basically get effective treatment as early as possible. So what can uh, this pop smear test tells you? The test can detect precancerous cell changes. It can detect the presence of HPV or the human papilloma virus. And it can also detect the presence of cancer. So what happens during the pap smear? So what do you expect? So first, you're going to lie back and place your feet in a stirrup or on a foot rest. So you're basically putting your foot upwards and the doctor will insert something called a speculum inside the vagina or into the vagina to hold the vaginal walls open because you're looking down in the vagina or you're looking into the vagina so you need something or the instrument to open it so you can look into it when they when you lie back and they open your vagina with a speculum they will just use a brush or a little thing similar to like a little cotton swab that you use to clean your hair and they just use it to brush and uh swab the cervix to take a cell sample and they'll place the cell in a little dish or a petri dish and send it to the lab for testing so basically um, it's recommended you do not do a pap smear during your menstrual period while you're menstruating, especially if the flow is heavy, as this can affect the results. However, if this is the only time you have to do your pap smear, is when you're menstruating, you can still go and get it done. And the doctor does not recommend that you douche or put anything in your vagina to clean it before the test. Do not do that. And a key thing to know that doctors do not recommend in douching any at all. You should not douche any vagina cleans itself. So the pop smear results can be normal, unclear, abnormal. So if it's normal, you get the results and there it reveals no abnormal cells. If it's unclear, the results may seem ambiguous and the doctor may ask you to take more more tests to do uh, to monitor more changes. In roughly in the next six months if it's abnormal the doctor can see some atypical cells which are basically um can be abnormal cells that don't meet the criteria for precancerous cells and if hpv is present it can give you some more tests to do to confirm that if there is squamous cell or some lesions these may indicate that you have precancerous cells there and they can do further testing if you do have any of these precancerous cells the doctor may recommend you to do a colposcopy with or without a biopsy so during the colposcopy the doctor just use a colposcope to magnify the view of the cervix so the doctor want to see a cervix more closely so you view the cervix the vulva and the vagina the vagina for examination so you're just looking at it and they may take a biopsy sample for evaluation in the lab so just take a sample from what they're seeing and send it to the lab the bottom line is you should go and get your pap smear well as soon as you're over the age like 21 every three years go and get your pap smear done and remember that Prevention is always better than cure. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comment section below. Have you done a pap smear before? What was your experience like? I want to hear it in the comment. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the DNN Medical Series for lots more interesting content. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.